Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we will show you how you can fix IP address which is starting with 169.254. If your system suddenly has an IP address starting with 169.254, then it is certain that you will have no connection to the internet and neither to any network resource you previously had. Having this IP address is almost as good as having no IP address. In other words, you can say your system is simply cut off from the network. When you are on a network using the internet or accessing any other network resource and if you, not, if you are not given an identity manually, a dynamic host configuration protocol DHCP server is responsible for giving you a unique identity on that network automatically when you connect to the network. That identity is called an IP address. Which will be used, which will be usually something starting like 192.168.x.x in a workplace that DHCP server is usually on a separate computer called a server. Whereas in a home setup or small office setup, which is SOHO, DHCP server is managed internally by your router. If for some reason you lose the connection to the network, then of course your system will not be able to find a DHCP server to get an IP address automatically. So in this situation, Windows will automatically assign an IP address to itself starting with 169.254. This, this procedure is called Automatic Private Internet Protocol Addressing. Common cause for this to happen is when the DHCP server stops responding when you send a request for an IP address. So usually the issue resides on your router or wireless access point side. In some cases the cause of this issue has also been attributed to Windows itself. If Windows fail to fetch an appropriate IP address, in time acting on its APIPA protocol, it will assign itself the 169.254.x.x IP. In this video, we'll walk you through various methods to fix the issue. Follow each method in the order until the issue is resolved. First method is to power cycle your router. A power cycle will do a soft reset. Terminate and reinitiate all connections to devices connected to the router. Turn the computer that has the issue off. Unplug power from your router or wireless access point and modem. Leave it unplugged for a minute and then plug the power back to turn them back on. Power up your computer and now check if the proper IP address is assigned. After following this method, if you have other devices connected to this router, check them out as well to see that what network they are on. If they are also unable to connect, then the issue points to a hardware fault with your router and it will need to be replaced. But there is no harm following the other methods we are going to describe now as well. Check if the IP is gone. If not, move on to the next solution. You may also check the guide which has scripted commands to reset network components. The link to that guide is given in this video's description. Second method is to request new IP through CMD. Press Windows key, type CMD, Right-click on the CMD and click on Run as Administrator. If you are prompted with User Account Control Prompt, you need to click Yes. We'll get to CMD. Type the following commands and then press Enter after each command. Let's say IP config slash release. Then you need to hit Enter. Once you are back from this command, type ipconfig space forward slash renew and then also hit enter. Now test and see if the issue is resolved. Third method is to check your router or wireless access point settings. Log into your router or modem and make sure that DHCP is enabled. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.